Right, in the previous section, we copied uh, the pixel code and we now wanted to test it. So for that to work, we need to add it to our funnel. So let's go ahead and save this funnel. As you can see, this funnel right now, it's super simple. It's only a one page funnel and there is no bridge or thank you page. You're more than welcome to go ahead and create a thank you page if you would like to. I actually highly recommend that. And if you don't know what the thank you page is, a uh, thank you page or breach page is basically once a person sign up to your uh, funnel, via your funnel, then you want to have a breach. So kind of you can uh, ease them to, okay, what is going to happen next? So it's highly recommended to have a video so you can basically thanks them for showing the interest and joining your uh, mailing list and also telling them okay what's gonna happen next so for example you can come up with a video like this hi uh, my name is Yavash and I'm so happy to have you here and I would like to take 30 seconds of your time and tell you what is going to happen next first of all I'll just shoot you an email to your inbox make sure that you go ahead and check that mail inside your inbox or maybe inside your spam or promotion make sure that make me your friend and add me as a friend inside your gmail so every time i post a new email you'll get notified and it doesn't go to your spam second you want to click on that button down the video so it will uh, redirect you to your offer so you can actually have access to speech law and start using that amazing product Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Something like in lines of that, so you put that there if you want to. I highly recommend it, uh, but I'm not just gonna go through the whole thing. It's super easy to add it. It's pretty much the same thing. You click on add new step and just follow uh, along. Now, as you remember, we already copied uh, the pixel code. So what we need to do, we need to go to settings. And as you can see, we have a heading track code. So we paste it in here and that's it. We hit save and we don't need to do anything else. The beauty of uh, Entrosoft is if you remember in the previous uh, two, two sessions before this, we created a form that captures the user's information. I'm going to bring up that form again in here and I'll show you what's going to happen. So, so the beauty of this, if uh, we go to the options in here you can see on submit it says uh, open url so you can actually either put uh, your url in here your affiliate url or something else now the beauty of this is we already have so we do a page view and when they click on this get instant instant access we automatically submit the application so that basically embed a facebook javascript code and it sends it automatically so you don't need to actually type that code in inside your funnel so it does it uh, automatically by itself so as soon as they click on get instance access it triggers an event to facebook and tells them hey this guy just sign up to my uh mailing list and just flag them as a lead so this is pretty uh useful you can also have the sticky note on it means that basically it tracks the user first name and email also in the next pages if you want to ask them about their name or email it will automatically pre-populate it so these two are super helpful and you can get them for free inside the entresoft